Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers Let's Play. This is episode 25. Now in today's episode we need to get some ammunition making. So let's get that on the way. And we want probably 300 of those. Oh wow, we are, we need cobalt apparently. Uh, that's not going to happen. We can at least go get the iron though. So we're going to go do some mining so we can start getting some of this stuff made. And I think I'll explain how I ended up here. I thought it was going to be a really simple, just, you know, getting the ship and move it. But there was some challenges, uh, particularly with switching between station and uh, ship. So we'll have that in a second. And while that's going on, I'm going to go do some mining. See you in a second. This is a little bit weird. I can't take off. And landing gear is turned off. It's not locked. I ground off these. We can see here. I'm just wondering if when I convert it to a ship, did I accidentally um, embed the landing gear in the floor? Is that what's happening? And if I did, which one is it? Can't be all of them. So I'm going to have to do this. Now, eventually, this ship is either going to kill me. And talking about that, let's just click save. But there can't be much left holding this to the floor. Okay, good. You came off as well. But I, I, and I know I converted it to a station. I've converted it back to a ship now. This should be flying. That one looked. That one, I actually physically moved my head like I could look under it. Um. But these both physically don't look like they're connected. So let's let's see if this now works. I'm going to double check quickly that it is a ship. So we're going to here, info, convert to ship. Aha! Yeah, okay. So when I tried to convert it to a ship last time, I couldn't, I think, because the thing was in the ground. I just didn't realize. Uh, I'm still not taking off. What? This, you are a ship now. Convert to ship. Convert to ship. Not possible. Okay, well. Let's get rid of those last two landing gears. At least w between us, we're going to know what that problem is now. And that will, uh, make fun and games. Let's get rid of this one. I mean, physically, there is now nothing. Because this, this block's not here. This is the last block. Am, am I going to get killed by the ship? Inventory full. Oh, this isn't going to be good. I, I can sense that essentially what's going to happen. I'm going to undo that. The ship's going to be too heavy. And it's going to crush me. Okay. There is nothing holding this to the floor. Nothing. So this must be able to fly now, or at least get converted to a ship. Okay, yeah, no landing gear. Good. Info. Convert to ship. Convert to ship, not possible. Why would that not be possible? I wonder if I do this, this and exit and reload it i wonder if that will allow me to fly the ship okay so now we're back in there's definitely nothing holding this to the ground we can see that in a number of views it's not attached to anything still a station so you can't fly over your station convert to ship Convert to ship, not possible. I don't know what to do. Okay, I think the only option we have... Uh, say bye to all this hydrogen and everything else. But let's see if we can do this in admin mode. And go. Okay. Try bringing it back. Now, definitely in the air. Do you float or fall? 
Where is it? Ship? Ship! Oh no, don't say it's going to spawn in and just randomly explode. Oh no, I... Ship, please. Really struggling with it. I mean, there was a lot of objects inside the ship. It managed to... Oh, good. It did turn up. So, only question I have is, does this preserve any of the cargo? Because if it does, yay. Oh, okay, it seems to preserve the hydrogen. There's a good chance it preserved the cargo as well. And it did. Nice. All right. But, is it a ship or a station? <gasps> we have a ship. We have a ship. Yeah. Finally, we can fly this thing again. Uh, it's a bit clunky. I think this docking mechanism we've got here is actually quite good. Because we can get... Oh, see, that's a bit... It's actually really hard because of the power of the thrusters. So I think I'm going to have to go outside view now. And look at that. Okay, looks good from that angle. Good from that angle. Ready to lock? Locked. All right, so now we come back here. Should be able to do this and this. Oh no. It's locked still. What happened? I had this at my base, right? Well, the good news is there's no point in that being locked. Um, let's turn on the thrusters. And let's turn off this. Oh, because the landing gear is locked now. Okay. I want to turn off the hydrogen thrusters so I don't use that. So the short answer is that is not strong enough to hold a ship at this size. Good to know. All right, welcome back. So I don't even remember, but last episode I had a load of nickel left behind. I've now moved that from this container over. And what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I have some basic tools over here. It's not the best tools, but uh, we, we have something. So that'll work. Now you might notice it's flashing. I added two batteries, but the reality is I am not generating anywhere near enough power. You see here, I need another one or two megawatts, particularly with the O2A2 gens running uh, and the drill. So we do need to fix the power here. I am charging the mining ship on the back here, but again, it's going to take a while for that to get charged. And it is currently... 88% so it's going to take a while now rather than waiting for that to happen why don't we head back to our old base check what's happening and then we'll pop back here in an episode or two and start fixing up the power here and everything else so first thing to do is to reverse this get in the ship and uh, start heading back now I want to do it on hydrogen just to see if it can, but at the same time, uh, I don't care. Like, I can test that anywhere. Right now, I want to get back to my base, and I want to make sure that everything else is okay. So I'm just going to turn off the uh, reactor. I'm going to leave the hydrogen engine on just to help recharge the batteries because they're, they're not full, and I would like them to be full. So with that said... Turn the engines on. Can't believe I forgot to do it. This is the one that downsides with uh, <laughs> doing it, but there we go. So we can still fly just fine with our atmospheric thrusters. It's just everything's a little bit slow. Just zoom out a little bit. Now, question is, do we want to take out the nearby bases? I think there's one over here that's 4K up, and I might... We're probably going to take quite a bit of damage doing it, though, depending on what arm armaments they have. 
So we might head back to our base and then think about doing that on the way in. But let's see. I can't actually remember which direction my base is now I've said that. Uh, where is it? Snow. Okay, it's that way. So we've got to fly past this thing anyway. Alright, well, if we shoot it, we shoot it, I guess. How how big is it? Oh, I don't say it's going to be a big one. It is going to be a big one. So that was not there on the flight over, by the way. That is a new thing. So our, we are absolutely shooting at it. Just a bit of a flyby. Oh, I, I would t I'm not going to turn around and stop. But I imagine it's having a bad time. We might stop and look at that on the way back. Um, we'll just see. Now, I'm not going to torment you with the flight all the way back. So I think we'll just meet you when I'm finally back at the base, assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. All right, we're on our final approach. Just getting ready to throw them on again. Well, you can see how the atmospheric thrusters really struggle in um, this kind of setting where it's high altitude. Now, I want to... Uh, let's get this out. I want to make sure this docks properly because when I docked at the ice base, you see the whole thing fell and I don't know why it would do that. Um, I mean, obviously, there is a lot going on in terms of weight. But my understanding of connectors in any gravity is it should be able to hold the weight of the ship. So let's uh, get this docked. Or I could just destroy both the connectors. All right. Plan B. Find a hill. <laughs> land the ship. I think we'll land it over here. This is where we were going to land it. Um last time anyway if we can actually slow ourselves down oh, that roll is a bit annoying as well let's come down here it's a little awkward to land on this bit but we will find a way let's come in a little bit oh looks pretty um just wondering if it's a little bit flatter on this green bit here which i think it is so we will we will try and get on this one. I, I think, I think we're down. Okay, so we had a slight mishap. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe it. Uh, slight mishap. Yep, yep. This mishap was that I was flying the ship. Don't tell me the fuel's low. We've got loads of fuel. Right, so we need to get that. <laughs> Just one more thing to fix. Constantly fixing this damn ship. Let's uh, get over here. Let's see if we can get ourselves docked. Because that will make our lives a little bit easier. This is warning ship fuel low. Why, though? We've got plenty of power. I don't know why it thinks the ship fuel is low. I mean, the power is like, you can see I'm struggling. All right, trick this time is to not. Oh, actually, yeah, you see, I'm sinking. It's interesting. Okay. Ready to lock. Locked. Okay. Good. Now, I'm going to turn off the atmospheric thrusters first. Because they don't have power. Now, when I did this on the ice base, the whole ship fell, so I'm just going to be very quick to hit uh, the buttons again. You see, here, it's struggling, the whole thing is bouncing. Ultimately, that is... That is floating. Alright, let's go fix a few more things, because we absolutely need... To well, we need to get we need to get that landing gear back on, and that turret back on, and apparently we got some damage here. Where we got shot as well, so we need to fix a few things. 
I'm assuming that's okay. Right, let me rename this to connector front no IIM. And that will stop it basically being a bit awkward. Strength, can we increase you slightly? Yeah, like 3%. Alright, that's not too bad. Wonder if we need to drop a few more thrusters in there. Why why would you come and attack? Well, I think we can make an assumption of what happened to the drone. Probably got shot out of the sky. Alright, this is now connected to base, which actually is quite handy because we can load it and unload it. But, I just want to double check. What? How? 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 I, uh, oh wow, you've been shot. Okay. How are you alive? You're meant to be dead. Why are you why are you working? Stop it. What on earth is going on here? This should be the charge loader. Hang on, have I been f Hang on. Can I check my iron? Uh ore. I don't have any ore. So hang on, what is that doing? Plenty of cobalt, oil, plenty of nickel. Forty thousand. Where's my iron ore? Like, or is that the nickel drone? No, you're the iron drone. I don't understand. Like, trigger now. Are you going to get yourself killed? I just don't understand how that thing is uh, alive and well. Because if it's alive and well, why am I not getting iron? Unless there's no iron in here. I mean, that's always a possibility, right? I didn't consider that as a possibility. Yeah. There's no iron in here. So that thing has been... Oh, I can't believe I ever doubted my iron drone. It's been hard at work, but we're just not giving it iron. I mean, there's obviously iron there. Uh, I've got my lights on. Yeah, and there's iron around there. But there is not iron down here. Now, do I have my drill? I do. So I know sometimes you'll get deposits deep, deep down. That's kind of what that was. But there is no way to get that so we can move this forward a bit and start drilling that area and i think that's basically what we have to do because all this is doing now at this point in time this is only mining stone so there is there is no point all right so i'm gonna reposition this then i'm going to print my new mining ship or get the old one working i need to go get some magnesium probably the most important thing because i need ammo uh, this will get me iron back online and we don't have to worry about it. And one thing I do want to check though, if I can do it without getting killed by the ship, is on this charge timer, what is it actually set to? Uh, because I said if I can... <laughs> Alright, I have to check that in a minute. Let me deal with this crap, <laughs> then I'll be back in a sec. Let's go have a look at the other printer. But before we do, let's grab some materials. Because it should be relatively straightforward. I just grab a regular rotor. I'm going to grab two lots because I need the materials. But in theory, jump onto here. And I... I just want to reverse this slightly. There you go. Whoa. Okay. 
have a look at that. Oh, wow, there's damage there as well. Okay. Are you off? Am I going to get killed by a world at war? No. Oh. So there's something I can do here. And we're going to have to bring us back a little bit further. Which is fine. Bring it all the way back. Is we should be able to stick that on there. Grind off this head. Weld this up. And put a small grid one on here. And then pull the slightly larger small grid ship from here. See, it's going forwards. That's really annoying. I kind of want it forwards. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but add small head. Uh, done. Okay, there it is. There it is. So I don't need to do anything else with that. Do I have any blocks? I do. So what I want to do now is just get a couple of blocks on here. Like two. And I should be able to set this one up to do the projection. I still want this to be... I want to project the ship where I can see it. So let's get this all the way back to slow this down. Okay, so look at that. That looks perfect. I should be able to print the whole ship now. So all I've got to do is, one, turn off that projector because you're useless to me. Turn this on. Speed it up a little bit. Uh, other way. Oh, it's, it feels very hair raising doing this. Okay, let's. I can't zoom in. It doesn't actually matter. All I need to be doing now is going back very slowly. Oh. I think that's it. I'm going to hit 9. And then jump out and have a look. Because you should now be red, which you are. Perfect. So that is going back. That will print a ship. All will be well. I hope I have the components. I mean, I should have. Now, while that's going on, I just want to check this um, armor block. It looked a little bit damaged. Which it is. We can get these up and working as well. And we want... Uh, can I grab that? I can't. I grab this. I can grab that. And I can grab... I could grab you. Uh, let's see if we can take control of Bob and do something interesting. So now I have a search for Bob. I should be able to find it. There. Yeah, remote control. Control. Bob. Camera. Uh... This one? Perfect. So what I'm wondering, I've got guns. I don't have my auto turret. But this thing is really annoying. That's the second attack I've had since I've been here. So short answer is kamikaze. Long answer. If this doesn't take that base out, the big ship's going over there just to deal some justice, shall we say. But we'll do that probably on our way back and take out a few bases. Because at least the big ship can um, take it out quite swiftly with the number of guns it has. Now it's 5k away. We should be able to quite easily get there. Um, oh, I see, look, there's a, a drone there. Can I... Oh, it's a damaged one. Interesting. Let's see if we can catch up to that and do some more damage. One of the good things about having the camera is you can at least zoom in. Just don't understand why that ship. So basically, man. Enemy identified. Yep. Definitely an enemy. Uh, my plan is to attack and kill you. So. What the hell? You're a lot closer. All that strength. Okay, well, you're going. I don't know what you are, but you're dead to me. Okay, that antenna is down, right? Yeah, cool. That's one. What? How? Oh, I'm, I'm accidentally using the wrong button there. 
I'm going to fly out because I'm, little, I'm mildly confused. There we go. Where are you? You're also dead. Go fall out of the sky. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm moving. I'm moving. Where am I? Where's this coming from? Oh, look at this. They, they ain't happy. Now, the cool thing about this drone is it has a lot of um, forward... Uh, I'm actually... I don't want to zoom in too much. It's getting too hard. So... I'm going to keep moving forwards. Just come down as well. And do this. Oh, I don't know how much damage we did to that. Oh, we're down to one gun. So I'm just going to tilt myself forward because I don't... Yeah, okay, that one's gone as well. So it's just you. you little ass of a ship. Um, I think I have to lead it. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well, that's that one gone. But, short answer is, even if that comes all the way over here, he's getting destroyed. And we took that out. So hopefully that will buy us a bit more time. I'm not going to waste uh, another drone on it. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Right. How's this progressing? Pretty much impossibly slow. Excellent. Don't get too close to the wall. Remember what happened last time. Okay, what else needs to be welded on this? I'm going to get back to fixing the base up. And I'll, I'll bring you back when something changes. See you in a sec. Well, someone forgot to put the rotor lock on. At least it's building. Uh, it's taken quite a while because of the uh, speed of the pistons, but relatively automated. It's really dark now. The ship is all done. We are literally just waiting for a miner, whether it's that one or this one, which we need to check. So I put it on recharge to be ready to go. So it's probably going to be this one. So I'm going to grab that in a second and we'll go get some magnesium. And I think that's it. We need a bucket ton of magnesium if I can find it. We need to get a lot of ammo. And then we'll get some mining done. And then I'm hoping... I'm hoping we can get back to the ice base and get some decoys up there because we do need to do that. But... I need to get some resources. I need a mining ship more than anything, at least one. So I'm going to go sort that ship out and I'll join you back here when I've got some stuff mined. I'll do one quick check of this, make sure we've got everything we need. And we will probably start heading back to the ice lake and try and get there in daytime. Let's check in here. So. Got a little bit of magnesium in here. Let's just see if I can find some more magnesium elsewhere. Because it would be nice to take a little bit more. Uh, let's take 20. I'm just hoping it doesn't... Oh, it is pulling it. Okay. I think this gives us enough raw resources here. I also, I have 100 uranium plus 100 spare, which is good. We've got plenty of ammo back. I loaded this up with about a thousand of each. I took a load of solar panels. That'll be important for next episode. So I think with that said, we disconnect, we fly back, we hope for the best. I really hate trying to land at night time. Can't see a thing. Apparently I'm a kilometer above my base still, which kind of makes sense but I've had to turn the hydrogen on just to make sure that I have the ability to stop because my I, shall I experiment I'll show you if I turn these off I can I can stop moving right so if I hold C I start dropping so I'll take this off at 650 and let's see if it ever stops and that's the problem that's why I need the hydrogen because of the instant stop. So let's try and get this parked. 
and we will wait until daylight and we'll start getting some of our building done and we'll crack on. Welcome back. So it is now a beautiful day outside and I can turn my lights off, I hope. Ah, uh, see? That's not bad. Something to look at. Now, since it's been nighttime, I built some towers and as you can see in the distance, We've got some more wind turbines. I've also put another one at the back there. And I'll show you some more in a minute. Now, the reason for building these turbines is this base kept running out of power. That's what caused the ship to drop the other day. Now, what we have right now in terms of wind turbines is almost bare minimum as long as not everything is running. So, see the drills? Paused. We're looking here. We've got some ice, not changing in volume. Hopefully, because these tanks are getting full. Eh, not quite. So, I don't think the O2H2 gens are running at the moment. They might be. Uh, I definitely need lights in here, though. Whoops. Let me double check, because I don't know why the O2H2 gens are not running. There's probably not enough power, to be honest. Let's have a look. It requires 500 kilowatts, so that's 1 megawatt, 2 megawatts, 3 megawatts, 4. And if we go to our battery, and I'll just run down here and do it because it's a bit cooler. You can see we have 1.23. So we're at 1.23 megawatts and nothing is running. So we need some more. So I'm going to get another 4, I think, on here. Try and get these uh, in the same spot. Whoops. we get one there. Now, I've not yet um, doubled these up, and that is for a good reason, uh, which I'll come to. No, I'll do it now. So the reason I'm not doubling these up, putting a block there, is one, gives me an option to do it later. Two, I want these wind turbines to be just enough to power the base. I don't want it to do more than that because hang on okay, let me show you four blocks below uh hang on uh, one two three four perfect so the reason i want it to just be done uh this way is because actually i would very much like to get some decoy blocks on these as well so that we can have some protection. So at the top of these, and I don't know where on the top, I'm going to have to build up a bit higher. I'm going to put a decoy block, and that gives the enemy something to target that isn't my base. But that's not all. Let me grab one more of these plates. And I don't think I have decoys on my hotbar, so let me just grab a decoy. Are you on here? Perfect. Let's grab one of you as well. And let's grab... I don't know if I can do these. Uh, what? How is that a radio? Oh, I need to make a radio. Um, I just hope I have the materials to actually make that. Um, cool. So... Let's come up here, switch the light blocks because I can't have a decoy right here. So I want to come up at least one, two, three, and we'll need to weld that up. We want to drop the decoy probably. Uh, should we go a little bit higher? Let's go four up. So we'll come up four more blocks one, two, three, four. We'll drop the decoy on there, and then we'll surround that in one layer of heavy armor plates and we'll do that to each of those and that gives us something that can be targeted by the enemies while our guns do the work to take it out and we've got enough guns here so that shouldn't be too bad so i'm going to quickly do that to all three towers and i'll bring you back when that's done and then i'll tell you what we're going to do next episode so see you in a second right welcome back i've managed to get 
all of these on now. I added these little 45s just to give it a bit of shape. And plus it gives us more attachment points. What I had before was if the uh, the decoy got destroyed in the middle, then all the blocks would fall off. And I didn't want that. So I've done this. So at least these side ones don't all fall off if this gets destroyed. And it, who knows what's going to happen. I'll probably have 45s onto these uh, next episode. And the way I've designed this now is if we quickly check the power consumption, you'll see that it's just enough to keep the base going and a little bit spare. So there you go, we're at 1.6 and we need about 1 to 1.2 megawatts. So we're still not enough to run an O2H2 gem, which is absolutely fine, but it's enough to keep it going. And that's why we're going to put solar arrays on each tower. Now, yes, they're a bit weak. Yes, they could fall over and they get blown out of the bottom. Not likely, they'll probably target the decoy at the top. And if anything, we'll lose the solar array on, on the top of that. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. We should be able to lose, I'm hoping, one or two of these towers. And the base should still be powered enough that ships don't fall off the connectors. That's my aim. Now, if you have enjoyed this episode, please like and comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Quite frankly, if you've made it this far into the episode, then why are you not subscribed? Ask yourself that question. I mean, unless... Unless you hate me. If you hate me, you know, maybe don't dwell on it. You know, hate's a strong term. But if you didn't hate me and you kind of liked it, then I suggest quite strongly that maybe you can help me reach my sub goal of 500 subs by June. Now, we did massively well in uh, January. We got 150 extra subs minimum. Uh, the numbers are still out on that because uh, it's not quite the end of the month yet. But if February we can get anywhere close to that, I will be ecstatic. And in fact, if we get that in February, we're well on target, if not going to exceed it. So I'm not holding my breath, but I hope that everyone who sees the videos enjoy them. And with that all in mind, have a nice week and I'll see you next time. Fly safe.